留在感情到了无法挽留，而你又决意离开的时候。你要我找个理由，让你回头可最后还是让你走。你说分手的时候就不要泪流。就在聚散到了最后关头，而你又决意忘记的时候。我也想找个借口改变结局，可最后还是放了手。你说分手了以后，就不要让自己难受。把这份感情看得太重，当初说什么也不让你走。如果我真的需要什么借口，一万个都不够。早知道我对这份感情难分难舍，当初说什么也不让自己放手。个借口改变结局，可最后还是放了手。你说分手了以后，就不要让自己难受。如果你真的需要什么理由，一万个够不够？早知道你把这份感情看得太重，当初说什么也不让你走。如果我真的需要什么借口，一万个都不够。早知道我对这份感情难分难舍，当初说什么也不让自己放手。这份感情看得太重，当初说什么也不让你走。真的需要什么借口？一万个都不够。早知道我对这份感情难分难舍，当初说什么也不让自己放手。We haven't hit water yet. This is not the complete casing. Currently, we have now hit rock, and we've been in rock for the past 20 feet or so. Um, but basically, if we were to keep on drilling, eventually the top of the soil, or the soil that's on the top of the surface, so everything above the rock layer and up, is all the stuff that has a potential of falling in. Um, some places 
are just clay and usually does not have this problem. So sometimes you can just drill the hole without any need for this upper casing. Um, but in our case, we started having some cave-ins, so we decided to put it in. Basically, what this casing is, is a large casing that goes down, in our case, 14 feet, sometimes deeper, in other wells. What it's designed to do is to keep cave-ins from happening. Um, in our area, we have about four feet of like caliche clay soil, and that's right on top of our surface. And then underneath that, we have about 10 feet of sand, and below that, so far, it's been rock. Currently, we are down 38 feet, or about 24 feet into rock. The problem is, is it's that first 14 feet of the upper soil, that loose top soil. And since it's sand, it makes it really troubling. It's not quite the final casing, it's just an outer casing to help prevent any cave-ins from happening. Really basic, um, but it could save a lot of money because if you lost that bit down there because of a cave-in, it would be very sad. It's just better just to put the pipe in. It makes everything easier. It turns out every well driller does things differently. So when they're drilling oil wells, so they do something very similar to what we did here, um, but they do several of them. So they do like a 30 inch pipe and they'll drop that down a distance. Then they'll do like a 29 inch pipe, they'll drop that down a distance. And then they'll do like, they'll keep stepping downwards like that, all the way down to like seven inches. Um, and they do this all underwater in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> it's just a crazy feat in general. So when it's underwater, they deal with a huge amounts of pressure. So they have to watch that pressure and they have to be very careful with it. So that's why they do the different sized pipes. So that's just kind of an interesting fun fact. Uh, basically, that's it. Very simple, very easy. I hope this helped. I hope this gave you a better understanding of why we put the pipe down there. We got some wonderful comments suggesting that we should do this. Thank you so much for commenting those. Any knowledge on well drills and you want to share it, definitely share it in the description down below because that is just so cool to hear people and how they drill the well and all the different ideas. It's crazy the amount of ideas that's out there. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the actual pipe going in the well and the whole process of the drilling, uh, check out Mr. Afanon's channel, my brother's channel, down in the description there'll be a link. Thanks for watching. In this tutorial, we'll examine how to complete a well after the borehole has been drilled. Here we have connected the end of the slotted casing with a casing elevator to lift the casing into position to drop into the hole. We have glued a cap to the end of the well casing. The slots in the casing have weakened the pipe, so it's advisable to have someone lift the center of the casing pipe to avoid breaking the casing when it's lifted upright and positioned to drop into the borehole. A second casing elevator or strap can lift the other end of the casing upright. Each casing end is dressed with primer and PVC cement. The two pieces of casing are pressed together by hand. Two or three short screws are added to ensure the casing does not come apart when feeding it down the bore. Be sure your screws are not protruding into the inside of the casing. In this well, we used 80 feet of slotted casing and then continued up with a solid PVC casing to the surface. The excess PVC pipe is removed with a saw and a cap is fitted to the top of the casing. The annular space between the borehole and the casing is now ready to be filled with the gravel packing. Measure the depth of your gravel pack when adding gravel to ensure that you do not overfill the annular space. The National Groundwater Association recommends a minimum of 15 feet or 6 meters of cement seal around the casing. It is recommended to fill the annular space with cement from the bottom up using a trimming tube. In this case, we have 20 feet of one and a half inch diameter PVC as our trimming tube. The bottom of the pipe is cut at a 45 degree angle to allow for the cement to easily flow out of the end of the pipe. A five gallon bucket with the bottom removed makes for a makeshift funnel. Plan on about 30 bags of cement to mix your sanitary seal. Here we have mixed the cement to a consistency that will easily flow down the PVC trimming tube.
Here we've made a makeshift form from blocks to create an elevated platform around the well and we have inserted three feet of steel pipe around the PVC casing to prevent it from being damaged by animals, vehicles, or fire. This steel pipe can be fitted for a cap, uh, for an electric pump, or a hand pump. You can see that I'm using a uh, four inch grinder with a metal concrete blade cutting the slots half inch apart. There's three sections with solid pipe in between. This allows for the structure of the pipe to remain solid and also it allows sufficient water to come.